New trend going around related to sunscreens. Blogs popping up all over the place with make your own sunscreen recipes, promising that they're full of nutrients for your skin, good nutrients for your skin without chemicals, that kind of thing. But here's the issue. These products have not been tested and they may not actually be able to protect your family or you from the sun. Everyone is looking for healthy ways to stay safe during the summer, but skin safety isn't something to mess around with. You don't want to play with the sun. One in five people get skin cancer in their lifetime, and we want to prevent that and start good healthy habits early on. I've seen first degree sunburn, which is the most common, and second degree sunburn with blistering. With sites boasting organic solutions that claim they are equally as sun repellent, but haven't been tested formally, Dr. Pollock says there's an important reason the FDA approves commercial sunscreens. I've heard of patients, actually I had one yesterday, that her sister was making some um, homemade sunscreen. And not that it's necessarily harmful, but I don't think it's as helpful as they think it is. So a lot of these do contain zinc oxide in them, which is in the commercial ingredients. The problem is they haven't been tested and you don't know how much is in each one. And if you're distributing it evenly in your homemade products, like they do the commercial grade ones. So I'm very skeptical on that. And the FDA has still approved these chemicals in use in all ages six months and higher, and under six months if it's necessary. And I would definitely at this point recommend doing a commercially tested product for infants and children versus the homemade. Dr. Pollock says for those looking for more natural products, you just have to do your research. And the main thing that you're gonna see in these, they're still gonna have some active ingredients, they're not all natural. So they're gonna have some kind of chemical in it, but these chemicals like the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide have been tested and proven in infants and children so that we know that they're safe and they're effective. There you go. So the experts say don't trust everything you read. Do your own research. So when it comes to shopping for sunscreen, look for those ingredients that was just mentioned, zinc and titanium dioxide. Sunscreens that have those ingredients provide the most protection for you and your family. There you go. And they have some chemicals, right? They're tested. Tested.